I never introduced myself as a writer. That I learned early on was not a good move. With the first book, you don't really know if you can do it. Like you, you have a kind of constant anxiety about whether or not you have something to contribute to the conversation. I really was thinking like, I have to work harder than any other writer in the world. I just wanted so badly to, to figure this out, to figure out how to write. Before it went into production, uh, I also took it back five or six times. I would call the editor and I'd say, don't put that into production. As a first time novelist, I thought it would be fun to read what people had said about my book. One of them said that it was like an MFA exercise, and that really hurt because it actually it was an MFA exercise. I connected with characters and books in the way some people might connect with like friends. And my writing just came out of wanting to reproduce that effect. I wanted to write a play that dealt with the entire history of blackness in the theater in one play. And the idea is that I would never write this play ever again. I had somehow thought that the book would be recognized as this work of genius and my life would change. I, you know, I didn't really know what happened when a book comes out. For me, it was like everything was riding on this. If I was a little bit less jealous, less competitive, and less intense, probably would have come to me a bit easier. I, I, I really feel um, like, uh, like I'm still starting. You know, I just feel like I'm still starting. <laughs>